Tolerance stack up analysis fundamentals. Why tolerance stack up? To ensure that all all parts fit together in an assembly. To measure the allowable value in form due to the variations in man forge rate. To understand the worst case fit and form of all the parts in an assembly. To man future the parts by assuring the allowable variation in size and location in summary. Number one, ensure that parts fits together. There is no interference, there is no too much gap between the two parts. And due to the manufacturing process, there will be some variations in dimensions achieved. <clears throat> Make a note of that. And what is the worst kit fit and what is the worst kit form of the parts in an assembly <clears throat> due to the tolerance given and the man coaching variability. Thus will ensure that all the parts are produced within the allowable size and location. What is stack up analysis? Stack up analysis is a mathematical calculation used to measure the gap and interference value between the parts in an assembly due to the variations in its form, orientation and location. Stack up analysis is an analytical reasoning otherwise we define differently stack up analysis is an analytical reasoning tool used to decide the allowable values of interference or gap between parts from the key perspectives of its functional requirements in an assembly and its manufacturability advantages of a talent stack up analysis thorough understanding of the functional requirements of each and every part in an assembly prevention of quality defects and improved product quality at its design stage itself, cost reduction due to the optimized tolerance. Because we are doing stack up analysis, then we know that what is the optimized tolerance will work out for our assembly to meet the functional requirements that will reduce the development time to market and improve customer satisfaction. <clears throat> when should we do stack up analysis at design stage before drawing list? The parts should not get manufactured before stack up analysis is performed. Types of stack up analysis there are two different types of stack up analysis. One is um, linear stack up, and the another one is radial stack up. Four basic steps of uh, stack up analysis clear definition of the problem, define where do you want gap or indifference. In an assembly between the parts. Select the acceptance criteria. What is the desired gap or interference will work out functionally for you in your assembly? And if the stack path in an assembly, what are the features or dime features, features of sizes that impact the variation? Perform mathematical calculations. Assumptions in stack path. It is very, very, very important. In stack analysis, before that, we should know that what are the assumptions we are we, we are uh, we are we are taking the advantage. Parts are at room temperature because the temperature will change the dimensions drastically. Sometimes the parts are to print no wear, zero deflection, no unusual conditions. Problem definition: define the problem clearly. Doc it starts with the document in the stock objective and the conditions under which the stock is being calculated and then in the definition the problem definition itself if you know the stock direction start point end point then you you have identified and defined the problem very clearly document the stock objective here in this example stock objective is Find the maximum minimum distance between the shoulder and the left side of the groove. List the conditions under which the stock is being calculated. The temperature of the parts, whether the parts meet print specifications, whether the stock includes or excludes wear, the amount of deflection on the parts, any unusual conditions present in stocks. <clears throat> Label the start point, end point and direction of the stock. Start point. Usually a feature in the first part, we named shoulder in the problem definition. We can, we can say that the first feature of a part, the second feature 
in the same part is left side of the blue here the stock indi indicator is shown is is has to be understood is the way it's shown in the picture directions positive sign for the arrow pointing towards the end point negative sign for the arrow pointing away from end point purpose of stock indicator to add or subtract a dimension in the stock calculation positive sign for adding a dimension negative sign for subtracting to interpret the stock answer positive sign in the answer implies a gap negative sign implies an interference rule for starting point axial stocks start on the left radial stocks start on the bottom stock indicator example stock indicator you see in the picture stock objective acceptance criteria select the acceptance criteria why we need to select the acceptance criteria because there are two scenarios worst case scenarios where we will get for the with the same talents some interference or gap so we want gap how much gap what is the desired gap that will give functionally perfect part we should define that we should define that acceptance criteria identification of stock path what is a stock path first of all a series a chain of distances path dimensions from start point to end point of a stock this chain consists only of known dimensions example dimensions on the drawing are a derived dimension value and to identify the stock path locate the shortest continuous chain of distances or path dimensions or derived dimensions mark each dimension with a line place a dot at the starting point and an arrow at its end point label each distance each distance with a letter example a b c etc stock path example in this example the minimum stock the a is in the minus direction negative direction with a value of 10.6 at its max plus b b is the labeled the dimension labeled as b is in the positive direction of the stock path with a maximum value of 34 and c is in the negative direction with a, a maximum value of 2.2 so there is a gap of 21.2 at its minimum as a minimum stock and the maximum stock calculated with the dimensions at its uh, lowest values that is 21.6 perform mathematical calculations procedure enter the value of distances from the start path and to the stock form set achievable variations in each distance enter acceptable maximum minimum distances in two different columns add each column of numbers check the subtotals evaluate the answer analytically for example here a b c are three dimensions that in fact the uh, x the whether there will be a gap or interference in this example a and b are in the negative direction from the stock path in the stock path and c is in the positive direction if you all if you add together all these three dimensions you will get plus 1 that is a gap implied but due to the variations that is a tolerance given that is in plus or minus 1.2 if you add all the dimensions all the tolerances together it is plus or minus 1.2 so the plus 1 gap will vary to minus 2 with an interference of minus 2 value minus 0.2 value and with a gap of 2.2 in this in this stack up analysis thank you for watching we will present you more videos in this series very regularly from here onwards thank you